Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Brute coming at you from what I suspect is going to be my home away from home, uh, pipe smoking wise, for the next ooh, several months. It's now um, in the 30s here in Wisconsin. Uh, winter's not here quite yet, but we are supposed to maybe get some snow accumulation on Friday. Um, I really wish I had fired up my snowblower over there, uh, and got it all lubed and ready, um, a little earlier than now, but we'll see. So I'm smoking one of my alpha pipes. Let's see if you can get the nomenclature there. Alpha Burl Briar. Uh, underneath you can see it's stamped Israel. It's one of my prized Israeli pipes. And in it, I'm smoking one of my Nashville treasures, a little English Tithe, which is one of the blends put together by the Smokers Abbey. So, um, that, uh, that leads me to what I want to talk about. So, uh, I'm not going to do a review on English Tithe. It's a really good uh, Latakia forward and a bit spicy English mixture. Uh, really rough cut. Um, very tasty. Give them a call and go get some. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. There's also an aromatic that I got from them that I will uh, do a first impressions on soon, but uh, also drinking a little Jamison's, which of course goes good with the smoky, spicy English blend. But I wanted to talk about tonight was not uh, a tobacco review or even to show off uh, one of my Israeli pipes. I wanted to talk about brick and mortar stores. Um, I don't get to travel as much as I would like, though I've been very blessed lately, certainly. Um, but even though I don't get out to a lot of the brick and mortar stores, a lot of them can be called and ordered from or have things purchased online. And what made me want to do this video is my brick and mortar, Yuli's Tobacco, here in downtown Milwaukee. A mainstay of pipe and cigar smoking in Milwaukee since the 30s. Therefore, they we got to try to keep the, the lineage going. Um, they are finally... They finally have on their website a way to buy tobacco uh, without calling them. So you can call and get their proprietary blends, or I'm sorry, log on and get their proprietary blends and order it just like anything else on the internet. So uh, that made me want to highlight all of the brick and mortars I like doing that with. So Yulees.com, I'll put all these links down in the bucket. Uh, Yulees.com, U-H-L-E-S.com, uh, -E uh, is my Milwaukee brick and mortar. And um, you should definitely patronize them. Their prices are pretty good. Um, they have some really great stuff. If you're an English smoker, I highly suggest the Bishop Move. Bishop's Move. If you're an aromatic smoker and want something that is intense and unique and sweet, I highly suggest Blend X. Also, um, LJ Peretti out of Boston is a fantastic store to buy stuff from. Uh, really great quality. Um, they currently, I hope I'm not too late in saying this, they currently have their seasonal blend Thanksgiving Day, um, which is going to go fast. I, I hope I can get some with my next paycheck. Um, we'll see. I've seen a bunch of people on Instagram post pictures of the, the huge block 
that they get. So yeah, LJ Peretti, uh, Ewan Reese out of Chicago, Chicago's oldest surviving business, not just tobacco business, but uh, they survived the Chicago fire and uh, and are still going strong. Uh, Chicago's oldest business uh, that still still runs. Oh, finally went out. Um, they have some really really great proprietary blends and they come in these cool mylar pouches so they they stay like fresh like from a tin uh, and you can seal them back up they're ziplock um, they also have a uh, brand of tinned tobacco called three star you one Reese or maybe it's just Reese and company three star those things are are lighter tobacco blends they're a little for the mass market but definitely uh get some of their proprietary blends from the store uh i've had their um vapor slices uh they also have a really good english um obviously i i have to mention my nashville favorite brick and mortars smokers abbey being one And Uptowns being the other that I, I bought a lot of stuff from. Um, I only actually bought one of their proprietary blends, but uh, I will be calling them up again soon. But they do have some McClellan stuff. Don't tell anybody. Uh, Boswell's, of course. Um, everybody wants a little Northwoods um, or some Cupcake. Boswell's makes some good stuff. I don't know if they're quite in the same category as some of the others that I've mentioned. Um, I think of them as like more than just a brick and mortar, uh, especially since they make such, excuse me, so such amazing pipes. Um, Strauss's Tobacconist in Cincinnati. Um, it's where you get your Sleepy Hollow from. Now here's a special one though. This one, Meandering Piper, turned me on to. Uh, it's in Arkansas. But they do have a website. Uh, it's called Ash and Ember. Um, I highly suggest the Vanilla Manhood, which uh, isn't the sweet thing that it sounds like. Um, it has some cigar leaf in it. It has a nice, robust flavor and a good sharp like black pepperiness to it. It's really tasty. And of my, these ones, uh, here's one I haven't bought from, but I fully intend to. So I, when I was uh, hanging out in Nashville with the YTPC people who went, one of the people I was incredibly blessed to meet, I'm very thankful to have met Tennessee Bull. Um, Great guy, warm, very funny, loves, uh, loves giving you the business a little bit, uh, but very, very sweet guy. Um, and he just kept handing me these, these bags from his, his tobacco stuff, and he handed me uh, a blend called Lexington, which was from Gatlin Burlier, which is out of Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I very... I guess uh, very not smartly. I mean, it was it was a good random chance. I pulled out one of my biggest pipes uh, when he handed that to me, and it was good because I smoked on that bowl of heaven for like an hour and a half. Uh, it was a really amazing blend. I am going to give them a call and see if I can't get me some. They also have a bunch of other stuff that looks really intriguing on their website. So. Uh, Gatlin Burlier. Again, all these links will down be down in the bucket. Um, here's what I want you guys to do, though. Um, shout out your favorite brick and mortars that either can that do mail order either by phone or preferably if they have like a small website, uh, so that everybody watching this video can look down in the links below in the comments below and see the links and get a hold of stuff that they've never heard of, that they would never have a chance to try otherwise. Um, 
I love my my GLPs. I, I love my you know Cornell and Deal. I love a lot of lot of bigger stuff, you know. Um, but there's something just really special about getting a blend from a local brick and mortar um, that maybe no one has ever heard of. Chocolate Manhood, Vanilla Manhood, um, things from Ash and Ember. You're never gonna get unless you you give them a call. So. Leave those links down in the comments below. Uh, hopefully I'll see stuff that I want to buy. Hopefully people who watch this video will cruise down and see stuff. Um, that's how we keep these businesses alive, you know. Um, I, do ha I do still buy stuff. I'm still sellering stuff. Here, let me light this back up before I grab for things. I'm still trying to uh, to build my cellar of tins of, of things that I think will age well. This got me a little Hatto's Delight. Um, I have been wanting to try this forever. Uh, the description on it just looks like it's right up my alley. Um, I also, of course, thanks to Corvette Jim Piper, am absolutely hooked on Bijou. This is a tremendous, tremendous tobacco, and I really enjoyed smoking it when I was on my California trip. It's probably hard to see in this light. Well, yeah, you can see it. Miskatonic mixture, which has me at two points. I mean, the ingredients have me, uh, because it's got two of my current favorite things right now. It's got some Cavendish in it, but it's also got Caterini. Oh, I love my Caterini Orientals. Um, so though that would have sold me right there, but of course, I love any H.P. Lovecraft reference that you're going to throw my way. So uh, that's going to sit in my cellar for a while. And just because it's time, I finally, finally got me some. Captain, Captain Black Original and some Captain Black Dark. Um, these will not go into the cellar. These will be smoked this week. <laughs> I, I have actually been really looking forward to trying the Captain Black. I have never tried any of the conventional over-the-counters. I've never tried the Carter Hall. Never tried the Captain Black. Um, never tried Half and Half. So, I don't know. At this point in my smoking career, I, I'm ready. I, I'm eagerly looking forward to trying the OTC experience, and I've been very disappointed on the couple road trips that I've gone on, the one to Eau Claire and the one to Nashville. I can't seem to find them over the counter. I actually had to order this uh, from Smoking Pipes. That, that just seems kind of sad to me. Anyway, so... There you have it. Um, I hope you guys are really well. Um, I probably will do another video either tomorrow night or definitely Friday day. Otherwise, I'm expecting... Somebody told me to expect a package that they're sending me. So that'll be a real yabo. I, you know, I didn't do the box opening for this stuff because um, I already knew it was in the box. You're not going to see the excited look on my face. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what... Uh, somebody said that they were sending me. I have no idea what's in the package. So that'll be fun. Anyway, I'm going to light this back up, uh, have a little more whiskey, and uh, chill out for the rest of the night. Um, I do seem a little excited tonight. Anyway, you guys be well. Have a great evening. Stay warm. Zagazunt.